speak to me. Speak to me, I'm listening. Speak to me. Speak to me, I'm listening. Speak to me. to me I'm listening I'm listening yes I'm listening I'm in all that you would come to me in all that you hear me speak I hang on to every word you say I live to hear you say my name I mean all that you would come to me in all that I Hang on to every word you say I live to hear you say my name Oh, speak to me oh. Come speak to me I'm listening Come speak to me, Lord. Come speak to me, I'm listening. Lord, come speak to me, Jesus. Come speak to me, I'm listening. Oh, speak to me Lord come speak to me I'm listening I mean all that you would come to me in all that you could hear me speak I hang on to every word you say, I live to hear you say my name. Oh, come speak to me, Jesus. Oh, come speak to me. I'm listening. Come speak to me. I'm listening, oh, I'm listening, yes, I'm listening, I'm listening, yes, I'm listening, Jesus. I'm listening. My heart is open, Lord. Oh, I'm listening. My heart is open, God. Yes, I'm listening. My heart is open, Lord. I'm listening. Yes. I hear. 
tonight we've come before your presence with worship with thanksgiving humbling ourselves before you we need access father we need access to the throne room of heaven tonight and so Lord we thank you for that access into your very throne room 
We access through the blood of the Lamb. We access through the praise of, of our lips and our hearts tonight. Because, Father, we have petitions to bring before you, Lord. We have needs, oh God, because, yes, we are a needy people. We need the presence and the work and the power and the strength of our God in these times like never before. <clears throat> so, Father, we believe you tonight. Lord, we want to thank you for answered prayer, reports that continue to come in. We've prayed for those with the virus, and they've gone through the virus, and they've been uh, tested negative again. And we thank you for that tonight, Father. Lord, we believe you for anybody that has tested positive. We thank you for giving them strength and virtue to flow through them and to, and to strengthen their immune system. And they will come through on the other side with a powerful testimony of your faithfulness, Father. So we thank you tonight. <laughs> we honor and adore you tonight. We bless your name tonight. And we thank you for a procedure. Patty had a procedure and it went well. Thank you, Father, that that surgical procedure was successful and that a further, more invasive procedure was deemed unnecessary. And she said, pray for me. Before she went in, she said, pray. And we've been praying for Patty and we thank you for touching her tonight. We thank you, Father, for bringing her through and restoring her health. And she doesn't need any other uh, surgery or any other more invasive procedure done. So hallelujah, Lord. We honor you. We come into your courts with praise and thanksgiving. We come into your courts with one heart and one spirit and one voice and one cry tonight, Lord. Believing you, O oh God, that you too are eagerly awaiting us to meet with you, to have this time together, to shut out everything. Lord, whether in the living room or the bedroom or maybe somebody's listening in their car, where, wherever we are connected, we're connected tonight by the power of your Spirit, Lord. There is unity in the Spirit as our hearts join together tonight. So, Father, we believe you as these needs are coming in, and I encourage you, send your praise report or your testimony in. We're going to stand in together again. God is hearing us. These times of prayer are significant. And I'm so thankful that we are doing this during this time and that you're connecting with us and we're believing together. And two or three or more than that are agreeing together as, as, as making these requests before the Lord. And Jesus said, we are heard of the Father and the Father answers us. So Father, I thank you tonight as we pray for Carlos. He lives in Arizona. Thank you, Father, that he is recovering from COVID-19. No complications in Jesus' name. And most of all, touch his heart. He's not a believer. Holy Spirit, come and reveal Jesus to Carlos right now. That if he recovers, it's because of your mercy, because of your work and your mercy extended to his life. So we thank you tonight that Carlos is going to be saved in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Father, we bless you. We ask you to touch little Joseph. He's only 10 years old, or 10 months old. Touch little Joseph, 10 months old, and he, they've received a report that his brain is not growing. He need, his brain needs to begin to grow and develop in Jesus' name. Touch little Joseph, 10 months old, this pure, innocent one. We believe you tonight, Father, for his healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, I'm praying for Mercelina. You know the need. Father, I'm praying right now for you to intervene supernaturally in her situation. I believe you tonight, oh God, and I join my faith with hers that you are going to intervene supernaturally for Mercelina quickly. Father, the answer is coming quickly for her in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, touch all I have are initials, D.C., Touch DC, who is in ICU with COVID-19 complications. Touch DC right now in Jesus' name. Raise him up, Father. In the name of Jesus, we ask that you raise him up, O oh God. And we thank you tonight 
for hearing and answering that prayer to raise him up, bring him out of that intensive care unit, and may he begin to completely recover in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Xavier's mother, her mom's mother, is, this is a grandmother. We're praying for her salvation in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Xavier's grandmother, we, we declare the salvation of the Lord to your life right now in Jesus' name. Right now in Jesus' name. Father, thank you. No more depression. No more depression in Jesus' name. Peace of God. Lord, just rain down upon your people in this time. The assurance, the confidence to know, Lord, that you're our healer, you're our provider. Lord, that, that you are our resource, that heaven is open over our lives in the name of Jesus. Sickness is healed, COVID-19 healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for life and life more abundantly flowing to your people right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Touch Elsie right now. Touch the grandson whose name is Noah right now. Be their provider. Be their hope. Be their savior. In Jesus' name we pray for Elsie and for Noah, Lord, to know you, to know you in a very deep and personal way in this time that they will come to know you and will serve you for the remainder of their lives. We thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Touch Olga battling a liver condition, a problem in the liver. We speak to the liver. We speak to Olga. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Father, touch the daughter that is struggling with anger right now. Touch this daughter. Mom, her mother says she is struggling with anger issues because of the death of her sister. Touch her now. Invade that depression. Lord, break the power of anger off of her life in Jesus' name. Let her come to know the peace that there is in knowing you and turning her heart and her life over to you, Father. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you for being Jehovah Jireh to each and every one of us in Jesus' name. I thank you for restoring broken marriages in Jesus' name. You know who they are, O oh God. A raising up, Lord, love and forgiveness and honor in these broken marriages and them being restored in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We worship you. We stand together in faith. We believe you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for a good report from the doctor for Mike. Thank you for a good report for Mike. In Jesus' name, we rejoice with him tonight, oh God, that he asked for prayer, he received prayer, and you answered and you moved, Father. And we thank you tonight, Father. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We glorify you. We worship you. We believe you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I bless everybody listening, connecting right now with your peace and rest and a refreshing again from your presence to come to their lives. A refreshing in Jesus' name from the presence of the Lord as we agree together, as we stand together tonight, Father. Lord, touch the neighbor that is bipolar in Jesus' name. Touch this neighbor that is bipolar and the two children minister to her right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Lord, I'm praying for a young lady named Claudia. She just delivered a stillborn child. Oh, God, visit her right now. Invade her heart and her mind, Father, with the, with the assurance that that precious one is in your arms, eternally secure with you. But let your peace come in the midst of this grief and this loss. Lord, we cannot begin to imagine her pain right now. But Father, touch Claudia. We ask you for peace. We ask you to invade her heart with peace and comfort in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. 
Lord, we're praying for Isla Grace. She's a beautiful little baby that's just recently been diagnosed with leukemia. Lord, burn that leukemia out of this precious one's little body in Jesus' name. Little, little Isla Grace, touch her, Father. Heal that leukemia. Remove it. Cleanse her blood right now in Jesus' name. Let that blood be cleansed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You alone, oh God, we run to you. Where do we get our help? Our help comes from the Lord. But we don't look to flesh and blood. We don't look to governments. We don't look to, to medical reports. We don't look to news stories. We run into your presence, oh God. We run to the mountain, as your word says, of the Lord. And we lift up clean hands. And with pure hearts, we stand in the gap tonight, God. And we come before you. And we thank you for the power that you have. You can do anything, Father, all by yourself. You can do anything all by yourself, Lord. And we believe you tonight. We stand in the gap tonight. We rejoice together and we intercede together, oh God. We stand in the authority you've given us, Lord Jesus. And we can declare things and establish things through your word and to speak your word and release your word into situations. We break the power, oh God, of sin, of lack. Of let the blinders come off of those whose minds are veiled and blinded. And let the light who is Christ pierce through their darkness and deliver them tonight. Deliver them, oh God. Comfort, renew, establish your presence in a powerful way, in a very personal way for each and every one tonight. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, protect Brad. We stand in for him and his wife, their children. Lord, we ask you to touch them and protect them and keep them. Keep them safe. Keep them strong. If they don't know you, may they come to the saving knowledge of Jesus like right now. May they come to know you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, that you're continuing to give Ingrid strength, continuing to restore her body, restore her health, continuing to flow through her with healing in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, diabetes and blood pressure issues and heart issues and stroke issues and kidney problems and insomnia issues be healed tonight in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' name. We agree together tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We glorify you. We magnify you. We honor you. We bring our sacrifices before you. We lay them on the altar tonight. And we thank you for receiving our sacrifice, Father. Hallelujah. You are mighty, O oh God. We honor and adore you and worship your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name. Pastor Jamil, go ahead and pray. Whatever's on your heart, just lead us right here. Father, we just want to thank you, God. Thank you, Father, for your mercy, for your grace yes, in our lives, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God, that you are very much alive right now, that you are working and moving in our lives, God. We choose to trust you tonight. We choose to just lay it all down at your feet tonight, God. It is in the name of Jesus that we find our peace. It is in the name of Jesus that we find our strength. It is in the name of Jesus that we are saved, God. And I just declare the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind connected with us tonight, over every household, over every family, over every marriage, God. I pray the peace of Jesus in every situation, over every person that's connected 
tonight, God. I pray the peace of Jesus over them, God. I pray your strength, Lord God. I pray, Father, that you would bring us to a place of humility, humility before you, God, that you would open our hearts before you, Father. We want to be real with you, God. We never want to put up an image. Father, we don't have to pretend with you, God. And to you tonight, God, we bring our brokenness. To you tonight, God, we bring our doubts. We bring our shortcomings. We bring our hurts and we bring our pains, God. We bring them to you tonight, Father. And we thank you, God, because in place of those things, we receive healing in the name of Jesus. We receive your strength. We, we receive every good thing that heaven has to offer because of what you've done on the cross, God. Because you died for our sins. And we just thank you, God. We give you glory tonight. We honor you, Father. We honor you, God. We are bowing down our hearts before you. We honor you, God. This is our worship unto you, God. You, you who is worthy, you are worthy, Father. You're worthy of every sacrifice that we make for you, God. You're worthy of it all, Jesus. We just honor you tonight, God. We bless your holy name, Father. We bless your holy name, God. I just pray for your protection uh, over every person. Again, God, who is connected, protection from the attack of the enemy, God. Protection from fear that would try to root itself in our hearts, God. If there's any fear, Lord Jesus, I just pray that you would uproot it, God. Holy Spirit, come and take fear away, Father. Comfort us in knowing that you are with us, God. You are with us. That is our comfort. Father, you've said it over and over and over again. To those in the Bible, do not fear for I am with you. And we do not fear, God, because we know that you are with us. You're with us, God. And if you are with us, who could be against us? God, our lives are in your hands. And, and what, what better place to be than in your hands, God? There is nowhere else that we would rather be than to be close to you, Father God. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. You're worthy, Father. You're worthy of our worship, God. We give you all honor and glory tonight, God. Come in power. Father, meet us where we are tonight. Meet us where we are, Jesus. And just come in power, Lord. And we thank you. And we pray this in your name, Jesus. Amen. Father, we bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We stand in the gap, Father, for our nation. Oh, yes, Lord, you have, you have given the command, the instruction that we stand in the gap for kings and presidents and those in authority. So, Lord, we lift up our, our, our president. We lift up all of those making decisions that affect our lives. Lord, more recently, decisions about, about opening the schools in August and, and our children going back to school. Lord, I know that you are covering the innocent children, protecting them, Lord, even the science, Lord. Thank you for the science that is validating that God is protecting children from this virus. We celebrate that, oh God, the innocent being protected, the rates of infection for children, very, 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 very low. And they, they come through it without complications. Lord, we thank you if they are infected, they, that Lord, that they, they come through it and their health is restored. But Lord, thank you for supernatural healing over our children and covering and protection, Father. We thank you in the name of Jesus, Lord. We thank you, Father, that they're going to go back to school and there will be no sickness, there will be no problems. Lord, that we just cover our kids as they prepare their lives for being restored to school again. Teachers, protect them, keep them, Lord, strengthen them, we pray. Thank you for their dedication. Thank you for what they do in teaching our children and our grandchildren. We thank you, Father, and we pray your blessing upon them as well in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, Father. We worship you tonight. We thank you, O oh God. We glorify your name. Lord, we believe you tonight. We thank you for hearing us. We thank you, Lord, for touching Lisa. She's made a recent move 
touch her and help her establish herself in a new place with a new job. In Jesus' name, we pray and agree that you're providing for Lisa right now. Father, touch the stepdaughter who, has, who is diagnosed as bipolar. Touch her right now and bring healing from that condition in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Break the power, O oh God, of hatred and hostility across this land and slander and, and, and resentment. Lord, break the power, bring peace to our cities and our counties and, our, and, the, and every region of this nation. Father, that we, the people of God, will continue to cry with one voice before you. Forgive our sins, heal our land, O oh God. Heal our cities, heal our, heal our institutions, O oh God. Heal our universities, our schools. Heal our local government systems, Father. In Jesus' name, let the glory of the Lord cover this nation as the waters cover the sea, Lord, we pray tonight. And we believe you together. God, we worship you. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. You are hearing us. We know it. It's the promise. Jesus told us the Father would hear us when we agree together. As touching something, as making our requests known, and the Father would answer. So Lord, let us be mindful to celebrate your goodness and to celebrate your faithfulness. Father, we have missions partners and missionary partners in other nations of the world that are suffering so much more than we are. We're blessed. Even in this time, we are still blessed. Let us remember them. Let us give to support their work and to support them while they're there. And Lord, let us remember to thank you. Every time we take a drink of water, we need to thank you, Father. Every time we start our car, we need to thank you, Lord. Every time we go to work, we need to thank you, Lord. Every time we put food to our lips, we need to thank you, Father, because of your grace and your provision. Lord, you are keeping us and providing for us. And it is none other than you, O oh God, who is our Jehovah Jireh in all things, in our lives, in our minds, in our hearts, in our bodies, in our homes, Father. We thank you tonight. We bless you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah for successful surgery. Hallelujah. Lord, here's a daughter that was exposed to COVID-19. Touch her in Jesus' name. No COVID-19 in the name of Jesus. Lord, kidney readings, kidney counts are off or not good. Touch the kidneys right now for Patty in Jesus' name. We stand in the gap for Patty right now. Touch those kidneys in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for your presence, O oh God. Thank you for the witness of the Spirit in each of our hearts tonight. And not one of us is alone in this. We don't stand alone. We don't pray alone. Lord, we, we're not even worshiping alone. We're joining together in and by your spirit with one another as we worship and intercede and stand in faith one for another tonight. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you for a great harvest that's on its way. Thank you for the final harvest that's ripe and ready. Thank you for souls from the north, south, east, and west. They're coming in Jesus' name. The backslider, the lost one, the compromised one, the one your word talks about, their heart and the love for God has grown cold. Breathe Holy Spirit upon them, the fire of God. Rekindle that flame within them for the gift of God, which that first gift being the seed of faith, which leads to salvation. The greatest gift of all, the greatest miracle of all. Thank you, Father, for salvation for every child, every grandchild, every stepchild, every spouse, every sibling, every parent. Right now, in Jesus' name, thank you for saving, O oh God. You are mighty to save. And we thank you for sweeping across our lives, our homes, our cities, our families, and moving through with a mighty work of salvation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. You are mighty. We agree together tonight. 
We are pressing through, O Father. We're not taking no for an answer. We are pressing the gates, Lord, storming the gates, if you will. And we thank you, O God. We know the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and sometimes our prayers need to be violent. They need to be warring, O God, because we're in a warfare. We're in a fight, Lord, and we are warring together because the victory is ours in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We glorify you, Lord. Make, we make you bigger and greater, Father. That's what magnify the Lord means. As we praise you, you get bigger, Father. Your word gets bigger. Your power gets bigger. Your, 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 your peace gets bigger. Your healing gets bigger. Oh, God, get bigger and bigger and bigger than any mountain, any problem, any sickness, any sin that anybody is facing right now. Lord, like a flood, like a flood, like a flood, come. Hallelujah. We thank you tonight. We thank you tonight. Oh, how to We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. You are mighty. Thank you, Lord. 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 Forever you're glorified. Forever you're glorified. Forever you are glorified, Lord. We glorify you. We exalt you. We lift you on high. Hallelujah. 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 Because forever He is glorified. Yes, Lord. Forever He is lifted high. Bless you, we honor forever you. Oh, wherever you are, just lift up your hands risen. right now. Lord, we surrender to your will, your purpose to your work in this land, in our lives. In our need, you are working, Lord. We glorify you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is lifted high forever. Bless you, Lord. He is risen. He is alive. He is alive. We sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah, Lord. We sing hallelujah to you. We sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to you. Yes, we are in victory. We are seated together with Christ Jesus in heavenly places. Hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. Oh, yes, oh we sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, we sing hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. We sing hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you that you've heard us tonight. And Lord, your heart, you, uh, Lord, I believe you joined in with us. The word says you even dance over us with singing. And so, Lord, we thank you that we were together with you in this place of worship and intercession and prayer tonight. And we thank you for the access, Lord Jesus, that you give us 
through and by your precious blood. And we have come before the Father together with our petitions. And we thank you for hearing us again tonight, Lord. We thank you for answers. You are moving, Father. Open our eyes to see that you are moving in power, in mercy, in grace, in healing. And Father, before we leave tonight, we, we, we ask together, lift this plague in Jesus' name. Lift this plague off of this land and off of the world. And Lord, in its lifting, let a mighty wave of revival, a mighty wave of your mercy and your grace come like a, like a just like a, a, a mighty wave. Let it come like a mighty torrential downpour, if you will, from heaven that, that prodigals and sinners and backsliders and will begin to be awakened to the gift of faith that they had planted in them in their childhood or whenever. Awaken the seeds of faith in the lives of this, uh, this generation, which is every generation. This final generation is every age. And Lord, we ask for awakenings to occur, people to come to themselves by the Holy Spirit's work and make their way back to your house, to the Father's house again. And we thank you for that tonight. Hallelujah, we thank you for that tonight. Let us walk daily in your presence, in the anointing that we know is among us right now. In the authority that Jesus gave us, let us walk in this every day so that we will see your wonders, your signs and wonders through our own lives out in the marketplace where people live and work and play every single day. Use us mightily, O oh God. Awaken every gift, every anointing, every testimony Lord, may the fire of God burn upon every witness and every testimony that as we share, conviction of sin will come. People will say, as they did that first day the church was born, what must we do? What must I do? What do I have to do to have this peace, to know Jesus, to be forgiven? And we can lead them to the throne of grace. We can lead them to the foot of the cross. Use us mightily, we pray, Father. Thank you, Lord. Your blessings upon us, each and every one, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to say the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to ever miss one of these times. We are touching heaven. and We are shaking, I believe, shaking up hell and the agenda of hell. We've got Satan on the run, if you will, in Jesus' name as we agree together in these times of prayer. So God is with you. His anointing is upon you. Let your testimony out. Let people just let people know what Jesus means to you and what he's done and is doing in your life. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name.